10 years after Hurricane Sandy ripped through New York City, the Coney Island community is still coming to terms with the unprecedented damages and honoring the lives that were lost. Well, News 12 Cecilia Hua has this story from the Coney Island Boardwalk. I hope in my lifetime I never see something like that again. Community members gathered on the Coney Island Boardwalk remembering a very different scene that played out 10 years ago. Time is always escaping us. It just slips through our fingers. And it's really important that we take a moment to commemorate certain things that happen, especially when we experience collective loss. Not only did Superstorm Sandy leave 2.5 million residents without power and over 35,000 without homes, it also took the lives of 44 New Yorkers. And I also remember the sense of having to rebuild from scratch. That's a very unique experience that unless if you've been there, you really don't know what that's like. My home where I live had over five feet of water. Coney Island was one of the hardest hit shorelines during the disaster. The community has become more resilient over the years, but they say there's more work to do. We see storms coming much more often and with more veracity than ever. Sandy was supposed to be a hundred year storm. We see those hundred year storms every few years now. I just hosted a public hearing about it in City Hall and told everybody it should be a sense of urgency. We cannot wait for another 10 years to execute all, all of our plans. As the chair of the Committee on Resiliency and Waterfronts, Councilmember Ari Kagan is urging the Office of Emergency Management to have better plans for evacuation, coordination and recovery efforts in the event that disaster strikes again. Reporting from Coney Island, Cecilia Hua, News 12.